don't click like. Let me explain why. That's gonna be awkward when you ask people to click the thumbs up at the end of the video. Picture this, 2007, Steve Jobs walking out to announce the first iPhone. This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. He describes it as the best iPod that we've ever made. I actually used to have a little Sony MP3, but I'll go along with it just for the story. That was the intention, a practical device that combined the phone and the iPod. A brilliant revolutionary moment of decluttering. I'm not sure though if even he'd be happy with what's happening now. Cut to 2020 and on average a person spends at least two hours a day using some kind of social media app from a phone. The smartphone looked like it would reduce the amount of things that we needed to own and increase our productivity and the handiness of our devices. Maps for instance. But once the app store was open our attention was handed over to Facebook, Instagram and Google. This isn't because we're lazy, this is because billions of pounds have been invested into ways of getting our faces watching screens. I don't want this video to come across as a negative bash to social media. Are you sure? Because it's definitely sounding like that. But if we're gonna be ready for what's to come, then we need to be as wise to it as we possibly can. Because our attention, our time, our eyes and our minds are being farmed and there's no structure in place to stop it from happening. There's nothing to stop these companies from farming it more, from making these things more and more addictive. We can't trust something when we're the driving revenue, yet we're not involved in the decision. That pretty much sums up most of my experiences in sushi restaurants. It's been admitted that smoking was designed to be more addictive. And Bill Mayer once famously said, cigarette companies wanted your lungs. The App Store wants your soul. Philip Morris just wanted your lungs. The App Store wants your soul. The app designers at Google, Apple and Facebook have one interest, our time, and more and more of it. And what is the best way to guarantee someone's time on a regular basis? Addiction. Okay, are you gonna take back your comment about this not being negative now? The introduction of the like button in 2009 open the doors for these companies to make control and feed this kind of addiction that I'm talking about. And suddenly we had a reactive feature that placed excitement and feelings into a device that is in our pockets, given the ability to interact and change the online environment with a like, while also being able to put something out there and to see if we could get a few likes back ourselves. And this is one of the key moments that changed the phone from being the phone to the slot machine in our pocket. I mean, I don't use slot machines, but I think I get what you mean with that one. Every time we're opening our phone, we're gambling with what kind of surprise we might have got or what we might be able to interact with. And the thing to be wary about is that this was all meticulously planned and has been constantly refined. The notification icon started out as blue on Facebook, as in the little numbers that come up when you get a notification. They were blue. <laughs> yeah, I love checking if I got some of those little red numbers. Now, as standard on all the major social media apps, they involve some kind of red in their notification bells or icons. The apps realised that the warning sign of red was being clicked far more often than just something calming like blue. We're told that our best interests are at heart and as long as social media is used correctly, then it's completely safe to do. Yet they're putting in place things that are obviously there to make us use it far more often than what we would choose to naturally if they hadn't put those things in place. The largest part of Google, Apple and Facebook's income is through mobile usage. So from their point of view, they can't let that stop. It's their business now. And our phone is their advertising poster. They try to act like their apps are neutral. And as long as they're used correctly, then they can add well-being to our lives. But in no way can they add more well-being. A like from someone might spark a tiny moment of satisfaction or a little ping of dopamine. A scroll through your feed and liking various posts might pass a little bit of time and pass on some trivial things to you, but what does that take us away from? The real interactions, the valuable moments of learning. That is why every like that we click, every like that we receive and look at, it lowers our well-being, as it's replacing an interaction that is far more natural and far more valuable to our long-term health 
and our effectiveness in social situations. Apps make you feel more lonely because the interaction that you're receiving is a far less complete interaction. We're designed to live in social groups and tribes of around 100 to 150 people, which is actually massive and sets us aside from other species of animal. We've now opened up our social community to try and keep everyone we've ever met in our lives. And we follow and listen to many people that we've never even actually met. I doubt you met half the people watching this. It's probably only about 100 people, so you might have met them all. So say we now have around 1,000 friends or people that we follow the quality of our social connections is going to be 10% as complete as what we're evolutionarily designed to have, as they're so spread out. It's like feeding yourself 10% of the food that you usually eat. You're going to feel hungry, starving even, so we're potentially going to feel more lonely. And that's not going to show up in a clear way that we can understand easily. It might be through heightened anxiety, or maybe random moments of sadness or anger. So don't click like. Whatever you do, just do not click that like button. And if you could pretend you haven't even seen this video. Actually, is there a way of, once someone's seen a video, we can just make it look like they haven't even watched it? Okay, so no clicking like. I don't know why he thinks we want to click like so much anyway. But I just wanted to say, I do really appreciate all your support as always on the videos. I just do think we need boundaries and the best way to create boundaries is knowing why the boundaries need to be there in the first place. So thank you always for your support and I swear I won't always be so negative. Okay, back to the video. Anyway, and I'll catch you really soon. Take care, bye bye.